place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelley Wordsworth. Shelley and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Oh, look at the time, everyone. It's time to go home. Let's put the books away. Okay. All right, Aisha. Come on, Kai. That's it. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down. The stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story makers. I'm Shelley Wordsworth. Come on, let's have some fun and make some stories. <laughs> no, stop it, Jackson! Stop it! <laughs> but Jelly, it's all feathery and soft! <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's all tickly! <laughs> oh, Jelly, you're all giggly and wriggly! <laughs> oh, oh, hello! Oh, uh, hello. The children in the library today were doing some spring cleaning yes. and um, I think they forgot this feathery stick thing. Oh, it's mm. called a feather duster, Jelly! <laughs> I don't need dusting, Jackson. Oh. <laughs> Try the bookshelf. Look, there's still some dust there on the books. Oh. They must have missed it. Oh, yes, I see. Mm. I'll just give it a little dust here and mm. here. Oh, there oh, you stop go. it, Jackson. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it, Jackson. Stop it. <laughs> When I asked you to. Mm, I'm sorry, Jenny. Oh, it's mm. okay. Mm. Oh, I know. We could use some of these feathers to make a story. Oh, yeah. Come on, That's Jenny. a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> some feathers for a tickly story. Ticky, ticky, doo. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Will you help us? We need lots of imagination to make a tickly story. Imagine. Imagine! Imagine a story! Hmm. Oh. <laughs> What's it gonna be, Jackson? Oh, it's a Kevin the Spaceman story! And it's called Planet Tickle! <laughs> Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before! Kevin and Spanner had landed on quite an unusual planet. There were lots of bushes, but instead of leaves, they all had multicolored feathers. Wow, said Kevin. Let's go and explore, growled Spanner. He was sulking because they'd run out of bones on their space rocket. Cheer up, Spanner, said Kevin. You might find some more bones on this planet. Spanner snorted and started to sniff the ground. He stopped by one of the bushes. Suddenly, he felt something tickling his bottom. He spun round, but all he could see was a feathery bush. It happened again. This time, Spanner could see the feathers moving. The bush was trying to tickle him. Spanner growled at the bush. He wasn't in any mood to be tickled. What is it, Spanner? asked Kevin. At that moment, the whole bush stood up, and there in front of them was a creature with feathers for hair. Hello, I'm Kevin. Hello, said the creature. I'm Tallulah Tickler. Welcome to Planet Tickle. <laughs> Spanner just growled. 
I'm sorry about Spanner here. He's in a bad mood today, said Kevin. A bad mood? Squeaked Tallulah. We can't have that now, can we? She bent forward and tickled Spanner with her feathery head. Spanner was a very ticklish dog, and although he tried to stop himself, he couldn't help giggling. Then Kevin felt a tickle. He looked down, and there was another tickler. Hello, I'm Tammy, squeaked the tickler. Ticklers started popping up all over the place, and Kevin and Spanner were soon surrounded. They tried to escape, but everywhere they ran, they were tickled. <laughs> Soon they were rolling around on the floor, laughing and giggling, until eventually the tickler stopped. So, Spanner, are you still in a bad mood? asked Tallulah. But Spanner, he was much happier. The tickling had certainly cheered him up and stopped him thinking about bones for a bit. Thanks, Tallulah, laughed Kevin. I think that tickle's really done the trick. Any time! squeaked Tallulah, <laughs> and the ticklers giggled and tickled away. Come on, Spanner, said Kevin. I know just the planet to visit for some bones. Spanner couldn't wait to explore that planet. <laughs> Lovely story, Jackson. <laughs> Spanner was a bit upset until Tulu Tulu uh, Tulula tickled, made Spanner giggle with her feathery head. <laughs> yes, Tulula tickled. Hi, oh, you two. No, Shelly, we're in a bit of a giggly, wriggly mood tonight. Oh, is that right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Well, that's good, because so am I. And that calls for wriggly, squiggly things for Jaxie and Jellykins. <laughs> Giggles, squiggles, magic wriggles. It's a pleater now. Yeah, it's like a giant wriggly snake. Yes, come on, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Oh, Shelley, this is going to be fun. I know, I know. How are you doing in there, Jackson? Yes, yes I am inside the tunnel. Uh -huh. It's very squeezy, oh. but it's very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> um, squeezy. <laughs> oh, I'm like a slithering snake. Oh, look, look you're yeah. nearly at the end, Jackson. Yes, uh, oh, wow. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, here I am. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, your turn, Jelly. Uh, uh, squeezy. Mm. Uh, you go first, Shelly. Oh, OK. Well oh, done, Jaxie. Ja Thank you. Here goes. Oh, no, help! Oh, yes. I'm stuck! Oh, you oh, too, oh, big oh, Shelly. Oh, yes, yes, I know that now, Jaxie. <laughs> Are you two? Oh. I think I've had about enough wriggling for today. It's too much like exercise. Uh, well, why don't we make a story instead? Oh, yes, but what shall we use? Oh, well, we could put in a wiggle. And a giggle. Yeah. Oh, yes, good idea. I think I'll just rest here. <laughs> a wriggle. <laughs> and a giggle. <laughs> to, to make, make a wriggly, giggly story. <laughs> Are you ready with your imagination? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. What's it going to be? <laughs> It's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Exercise Class. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day Blue Cow saw a worm wiggling across the grass. Oh, 
That looks like good exercise. I wonder where I could do that. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can learn to exercise, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for an exercise class. Then they arrived. A man at the front was shouting instructions. And now wriggle to the right, five, six, seven, eight. And now wriggle to the left, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, hello, I'm Blue Cow. Good day, said the instructor. Welcome to Exercise for Beginners. Oh, that looks great fun. Can I join in, please? Of course, just follow William and Wendy, he said, pointing to a place between a girl and a boy. We're warming up before we move on to the equipment. Move. The music started again. To the right, three, four. To the left, three, four. Blue move, Cow move. bumped into William. Moose, sorry. I don't seem to have got the hang of this yet. Right, said the instructor. Now you've warmed up, you can go on the equipment. And he pointed to a bicycle, a tiny trampoline, and another machine with handles. Blue Cow jumped on the bicycle. Ooh, how strange! I'm pedaling, but I'm not going anywhere! That's because it's an exercise bag. It's got no wheels, explained William. Time to swap around, called the instructor. It was Blue Cow's turn on the running machine. Ooh, now I'm running fast, but not going anywhere! <laughs> Just then, Blue Cow leant on a button at the front of the machine. The running machine started to go faster and faster and faster until Blue Cow flew off the machine and she landed on the trampoline and bounced off, star jumped and landed doing a roll. Hooray! cheered the rest of the class. <laughs> You're a star, Blue Cow, said the instructor. Ooh, it was nothing. Oh, dear. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a gym and done some interesting exercises. Everyone knows that cows can't do exercises. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> oh, Blue Cow really made me giggle. Yes, me too. Yeah. Oh, you really are a pair of wriggler gigglers today. <laughs> I hope you're not still laughing at me getting stuck in the tunnel. <laughs> no, no, Shelly, look at this. We found these in the children's toy box. <laughs> oh, a pair of wind up chatters. Yeah. Oh, wow, can I have a go? <laughs> yes, you have a go, Shelly. <laughs> I'll just wind it up. Can I have a go, Jackson? No, you can't have a go, Jill. You will knock it off the table. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. Shelly, Jackson won't let me have a go. It's not fair. Come on, Jackson. I'm sure Jelly will be careful. Well, you be very careful, Jelly. Here, go on. You try. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. You see, I, I told you she would do that. Oh, dear. Look, well, don't worry. Look, we can still use it. We can use it to make a story. Oh, yeah. yeah. I suppose so. Come on. Yes, come on. <laughs> a funny set of teeth for a funny story. <laughs> oh, now we need your imagination. Will you help? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story! Come on, story messes! Oh, oh, it's, it's a, a playbook! playbook. Yeah. And it's called the Tickle Monster. There are lots of things that make me giggle and grin from ear to ear. Just thinking about them makes me laugh and dries up all my tears. I giggle when I wash my face, the bubbles go up my nose. And when I walk around barefoot, the carpet tickles my toes. 
I giggle when my lovely mum pulls a funny face. Or even when my brother and I have a silly race. I giggle when a little bug crawls along my hand. And especially when I bury toys deep under the sand. I giggle when I spill my juice all over my clean clothes. And outside when I chase my brother with the garden hose. I giggle when I mash my food and put peas in my cereal. And when I cuddle my teddy bear because he's made of tickly material. But the one thing that makes me giggle the most, and I'm sure you will agree, is when the tickle monster starts to tickle me. He wiggles his long fingers, they wriggle and they squirm. It looks like both his great big hands have turned into wiggly worms. I start to pull a smiley face and my teeth begin to show. I let a little giggle out and then it starts to grow. I love to giggle lots and lots. It stops me being sad. But who is the tickle monster? It's my silly funny dad. <laughs> Just like me, uh, look. Uh, uh, uh. Round and round the garden, <laughs> like a teddy bear. <gasps> One step, <laughs> two step. <laughs> Tickle your <laughs> <head. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me a hundred. Round and round the garden, <laughs> like a teddy bear. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two step. Tickly <laughs> went <laughs> Oh, that's enough giggling for one night. Look. It's nearly morning. The sun is rising. Yes, the children will be here soon. That's right. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. <laughs> can see us soon. Bye, Storymakers. Come back to the library again soon. <laughs>